What's up, Throttle? As you know, one of my favorite cars is the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, and I happen to spot it here with... Ah, oh, my name is Marisa. Hi. Hi, Marisa. So, first of all, the beautiful designs. Did you design this yourself? <laughs> I wish I could say I did, but I did not. This was actually designed by Chip Foose himself. Chip Foose? Yeah. How did you get it so that Chip Foose would do this? <laughs> you know, so they were bringing back the overhaul in show after being right. off season for a few years, and so um, they were looking for submissions on cars. Oh. My husband, Doug, took the Daytona Coupe. He put it in online, just like you know anybody else would, and came across Chip's desk, and he's like, I want that car. Oh. Oh my god, I know why he wants this car. And if I were you, I would never sell this. Oh my god, right? So what he's done here, he's taken this design and he's actually put it throughout the car with little yes. touches. Can yes. you show us some of them? Sure, absolutely. He uh, mirrored the back end of the car. There's a shape to it. And he re-engineered the front shape as well. So from the front to the back, it carries through. He just defined the lines, made it a little bit more sexy. So everything, you know, flowed. The car was one of his favorite cars from when he went to the design school. Yeah. Um, it was originally designed by Peter Brock, and so he took Peter Brock's design and just made it more elegant uh, for a, a female like me to drive it and gave it his own, his own touches. He pulled the flowers in, um, the hibiscus. I, they went through my social media, because they, what they do on the show is they personalize the car for the person, right? So originally it was a steel gray color. He pulled the blue in um, because of the tradition of the Shelby Cobras, right? So, which is great in the white racing stripes. But then he saw me in a uh, flowered Hawaiian dress on social media. So he pulled in that um, flower design in the car. So his son Brock actually painted the hibiscus on the flowers. Yeah, there's so many hidden touches in this car. It's amazing. Okay, and what can you tell us about the upholstery of the seats? Because oh, those yeah. look like they are brand new as well. Al's Auto Garage, they did the upholstery um, alongside Chip, and yeah, he absolutely did a killer job. There's piping, there's blue, um, they have the cross stitch. I mean, everything inside has been redone. And did you do any performance tuning? So you put some carbon fiber there right over yeah. the radiator fan. Yep, Chip did that. They put a brand new Roush engine in. Um, I mean, oh yeah, it's yeah. just got all the bells and whistles. This thing gets up and goes. The exhaust was done by Magnaflow, special X-Pipe. I mean, just incredible, incredible features. Oh, you know what? You've got pink ceramic brakes as I well. Do. I do. Just to match. They did those little pops of pink everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that my fun? God. I know. So how many times have you been to the cruising event? Uh, we love the cruising event. So we were actually one of the kind of the old school people that came out when oh, it first started. Yep, exactly. And we have been along through the journey the entire time. And I have to tell you, but I was sharing with the people that put on this cruise. They have given such a gift to so many people during a time of, you know, change and isolation to bring the community together. You know, the community could always, you know, know that they could come out and do these car events and it's just carried for the last two years and it's been awesome to see it grow and be a part of it and they have so much soul and heart. So we're always going to be able to come back and bring vehicles and participate. So All right, thank you, Marissa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.